This annual dialogue, which has been scaled up from previous ones at the state level, has been convened in conjunction with the Ford Foundation to create a platform for collaboration amongst community gatekeepers in ending gender-based violence. The collaboration is producing results as the gatekeepers at the state levels have brought progress reports. FAP law is all encompassing that you know, gives uh, access to maximum sentences. But what is done behind is that some people will charge some cases with the criminal code that would have less uh, sentencing times. Child marriage is one of the entrenched religious practices that violate the rights of the girl child. Some northern states have passed the Child Protection Bill but failed to regulate the age of marriage. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Women Affairs in Niger State, reacts to this concern. For our own child rights uh, law, it's just from 18 and above. So anybody below the age of 18 is really frowned out and the law will take its court. President of FIDA and the Executive Director of Women's Rights and Health Project call on stakeholders not to relent on the advocacy for the domestication of the VAP law and other relevant laws in the fight against SGBV. If they know that there is a law and you educate them the implications of not abiding by that law and they can see that this law can actually bite, you will see that everybody will sit up. We are at the forefront of advocacy, sensitization and education. With insurgency and banditry in Nigeria's north, Many more Nigerian women and girls are experiencing sexual and physical violence by age 15. With this grim statistics, collaborations like this by FIDA and its partners must be sustained to check the menace of SGBV.